Well, the long wait is over, and we have finally gotten our Hero Clicks DC Notorious set, and we are beginning our sealed game series with sealed game number one. My name is Rob. And I'm Jocelyn. And uh, we have finally got our product, and we've already played a significant number of these figures in the Battle Royals at Worlds in Memphis, but we are very eager to open up two boosters each today. Build some teams and play a game. That's right. Looking and I got to roll some dice. And I got to play in Team Sealed. You did. So, so you played even more figures, probably. I played even more figures. So yeah. So yes. Um, so um, that's what we usually do here. We open up two boosters each. Yes, of the Mega Set, and uh, we're going to build some three hundred point teams. We're going to play a game. That's right. And but first, we're going to open this product. And Jocelyn, you get to start. You're going to show us your legacy card first, I think. Let's do it. We have preemptively shaken it like a Polaroid picture, as mm -hmm. you do. And we are going to see what magic we have come up with here. And we have Ultraman. Okay. Ultraman is from Justice League Trinity War. Okay. So there you go. Interesting. So if you are looking for an Ultraman legacy card... Yeah, because we certainly don't have a figure that old. That's right. HM <laughs> HMU, hit me up. Yep. And I'll open my legacy card. I mean, it's only 2015, so in theory, we could have it. I actually have older figures than that. That's what I'm saying. You know, I have stuff from a while back, but I did do not have stuff from that particular set. Did you shake it like a Polaroid picture? I did before. Okay, okay I got a Hush. Nice. Yeah. Hush is from um, the Batman set of 2012. That one's older. So there you go. I do not have a hush. No. No. So anyway, there we go. That's our legacy cards. Okay. And you're going to open up your boosters. Yes, I am. first booster. My first booster. So uh, I started on the left side of my brick, <coughs> as I always do. This is the front, mm -hmm. and this is the back. Okay. Now in my first brick, on the fr front left, mm -hmm. I opened a chase. You did. So is this a chase? Because this is like a wonky booster. I don't know if you can <laughs> see that. It's like, it's got like a, it's got like a divot in it. Yeah. Right? We have a thing for damaged packages. and. Let's do it. Let's open this. Let's follow the... And, let's and the luck coming on the damaged ones. Let's follow Jocelyn's usual plan, and I see bubble wrap. Yeah? Yeah, I so do. So what do you think? Another chase? It could just be like an... Oh, no, it's a poison ivy. Oh, okay. Oh, this might be the animated series booster thing. Okay. So there's a poison ivy. There's a Harley Quinn. There is a... Chase super oh. rare king shark. Okay, you got a super rare. Yep, I got There's a Riddler goon. Poison ivy. All right, that I poison ivy sculpt is amazing. I guess we'll t it is. I guess we'll take a look at your king shark. Yeah, king shark. Okay, I'm There's a shark. There's his card. Oh wait, that's the dice master's card. <laughs> there he is, king shark. So king shark is Gotham City Underworld, Secret Six, Secret Society of Super Villains, Suicide Squad, Animal and Brute, and he's eating a boot. He has an insatiable hunger. That's probably why he's eating a boot. He has regeneration is free, but only if King Shark KO'd an opposing character or destroyed an opposing terrain marker this turn. If he did both, when he uses it, he doesn't have to have the result. Mm -hmm. uh, he is 115 points for 9 clicks, or 80 points for 3 less than that, which would be 6. He's a dolphin, which means if he's in water, you can't target him from less than 4 squares away. Right. More, more than 4 squares away. And he's got a special uh, movement power, so let's check it out and see what that does. So it is, oh, there's a second trait first. Enraged Shark Monster, Battle Fury, but only if a character has been damaged since your last turn. Now I have to remember if someone's been damaged. I have to make yeah. notes. When King Shark destroys blocking terrain, after resolutions generate water terrain markers in the squares of the destroyed terrain. And then his movement power is even faster in water, charge, plasticity, hypersonic speed, but only if King Shark occupies water terrain. When King Shark uses it, he may use Flurry as free instead of making an attack. That's pretty cool. Very nice. And he has a Suicide Quad team ability, which says what it is uh, when an adjacent friendly character is KO'd after resolutions, you may roll 86. If you do, heal this character equal to the result, minus two, minimum wow. one. That's a that's a good t team ability. Yes. So well, I think we're you're going to be playing him in your well, your yeah, game. super rare for sure. All right. Shall we look at my booster? Let's do it. Okay. I'm going to take a look at this and see I'm a shark. if I have something that can go up against your king shark. I'm sure you do. It's just okay. a matter of what it is. So far, I got a goon. Goon. And I got a brainiac. And I got a oh a manta. Mm-hmm. 
And uh oh. Who's this guy? I got an OMAC. Uh I think I know what it is. Is he a super rare? No. No. It is a Cordian Thunderer. Oh. Cordian Thunderers. Some, okay. Sometimes the Cordian Thunderer comes in bubble wrap. Yeah, I that's the first one I think I've seen in bubble wrap, because we've had other ones that aren't in bubble wrap. In our unboxing, I had one that was in bubble oh, wrap. Oh, was it in bubble? Yeah. Okay. So your My rare is Black Manta. Okay. So we should take a look at Black Manta, because we did not sure. look at him in our unboxing series. Let's take a look at the Black Manta. At the Manta of Blacking. And he... Has a lot big harpoons. He's hard to get out of the out of the tray yeah, here. Yeah, you gotta so. do the the backwards. Do it. So. Yep. <coughs> All right. Let's go. take a look at him. He is number thirty four in the set. He has team player team ability, and he has the keywords in Justice League, Legion of Doom, Secret Society of Supervillains, Suicide Squad, Assassin, Pirate, and his trait is Undersea Salvage, unique modifier, uh, free if Black Manta occupies or is adjacent to water terrain. Roll a d six. All friendly characters with the dolphin symbol modify the listed combat values, matching the number on the d6 by plus one until your next turn. So three to four is attack, five is damage, six is attack and damage. He has a 90 point starting line and a 45. He has a five range with two targets. Now let's take a look at his backs, his attack power. Oh, he's got a second trait. Look at that, rampant piracy. What a friendly character with the uh, dolphin symbol hits a single equipped opposing character. Well, that will maybe not a not happening in sealed. It's not going to happen this turn, this game. Uh, they may choose to deal a maximum of one damage to that target. If they do, they may equip any equipment equipped to the hit target. And the special attack power is Devil Ray, granting energy explosion, precision strike, knockback. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I like him. So. Shall we take a look at your next booster? Let's do it. Here it is. It's a little bit wonky, too. It's got like a little bit of a dip to it. Mm -hmm. But it's not as wonky as the first one. The first one did bring me a super rare, so can't complain. And let's see. And I have, ooh, we are starting with a polar bear mm -hmm. and some cards. Kay. And some of these are some reason not in there. Uh, we have a Sinestro. We have a Lincoln March. We have a Riddler, <laughs> and we have a Cordian Thunder in right. Bubble Wrap. Okay. Any of those you want to look at in particular? Uh, I guess the rare... Well, we looked at Lincoln March in the unboxing. We did. So we'll pass on that. Okay. And let's move directly to you. Um, okay. Lincoln March does targety things. And I need assassins to make that work. And I've randomized my boosters, so I don't know where in the brick that these came from. You and your randomization. I know. I like to randomize. I know you do. Okay. Hey, we got a Mirror Master. Um, and we got some cards. And then we got... Uh-oh. Oh, look at that. Chase. Chase? Got a chase already. Is that a green arrow? It's a green arrow. Black Lantern green arrow. Yeah. Well, Cyborg there you go. Man, we got the Gorilla Warrior. And I got a Batman. Well, hey. We were just talking about how you were hoping to get I some Black Lantern chases. I'm very happy um, that I got this guy. So nicely done. <coughs> That's nice. Let's take a look at him. He is number 68 in the set. Uh, he has the JLA team ability. He has the keywords of Black Lantern Corps, Justice League, Justice Society, Star City Herald, Martial Artist, and Monster. And he's got a couple traits the greatest archer, alive or dead, granting precision strike, steel energy, but may use it with close and range attacks. And also, when Green Arrow attacks, his targets can't positively modify their defense value. So the other trait is Banked Shot off the Headstones. When Green Arrow attacks, he may use Probability Control on any, any number of times. For each use past the first, he must remove a friendly Grave Marker within four squares of the target from the game, or that use of Probability Control has no effect. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, he has improved targeting, hindering, and uh, through characters, and that means you can also shoot adjacent, right? That is and shoot through adjacency, yeah. Shoot through adjacency. Uh, he has a range of seven, single target only, um, and he comes in at 100 points or 50 points, and we'll see what's on the... Yeah, sorry, I'm like so side. busy paying attention here that I forgot I need to flip <laughs> the card. Um, it's not improved targeting through characters, it's just 
targeting oh, right. range when adjacent. Adjacent, that's right. right. You would that need the angle. black for improved targeting. That's correct. Um, so the special attack power is Gravedigger Arrow, which uh, grants blades, claws, fangs, but instead only for range attacks. When green arrow hits a single opposing character who is not occupying any friendly grave marker, you may give that character an action token and generate a grave hindering terrain marker in their square. Nice. Okay. Well, this should be uh, interesting. We've got a super rare against a chase. That's right. Let's see what we can do with it. Okay, let's build some teams. All right, we have some teams built. Jocelyn, how about you tell me about your team? Excellent. Um, I will do that. So my team is a 295-point Gotham City Underworld theme team. Okay. And I'm playing King Shark at full points. Mm -hmm. I've clicked down Poison Ivy. Mm -hmm. I have her friend Harley Quinn. I have a lower point Lincoln March, a lower point Riddler, and a expendable goon Polar Bear on his 15-point line. Okay. This is my sideline uh -huh. of goony people that could potentially come in. And of course, I have the Thorn Vine bystanders that generate that are going to oh. be generated by Poison Ivy. Those are annoying. <laughs> and I am going to start with some water terrain to help out my good old King Shark. Okay, sounds good. Um, I am playing Full Dial um, Green Arrow. Nice. Full Dial Brainiac. Nice. Probably not a great idea, but... Um, and then everyone else is on their second starting line. So I have Batman, uh, Black Mana, and then I have the uh, Gorilla City Warrior... And then the Goon, G-O-O-N, um, those guys are at 15 points. And I have 295 points on my team. Accordion Thunder is on the sideline, just in case he can be generated through the Expendable Goon trait. Excellent. So, before yeah. we came back on camera, we rolled off, and uh, I won the initiative roll. That's right. So I selected to go second and choose map. So I've chosen Harley's Rooftop Outdoor, mm -hmm. which is from the Play at Home kit. Yep. And, and it's a very dark map, so... We've done the best we can. Yeah, it's hard. It's it's difficult to see on camera, but uh, hopefully it won't be too much of a hindrance. While you're setting up there, Rob, mm -hmm. um, I can explain the features of the map. Yeah, you go for it. So we've got some hindering terrain, obviously, which is identified by the white and green outlines. We have a little bit of blocking terrain. And we also have three levels. So uh, here, Rob's side is uh, all level three. On this side, it goes to level one. Here, it goes to level two, and then it's back up to level three here. Um, so yeah, so it's it's a little bit of a, a funny map. However, with that said, with the new rules, anyone can jump up, right? You don't have to go through the that's right. Go through the um, elevation change marker. Mm -hmm. You can just go if I'm if I'm here, if the polar bear it doesn't matter if I've leap climb. I can just do this. I just have to stop there, mm -hmm. right? Or if I if I don't have flight, right? So, so that's going to make it a little bit easier. Okay, so do, when do I put out my terrain? You do that now. I do that now, okay. I'm going to put uh, some debris here. So I can put terrain on the debris, on the change marker, right? You cannot. I cannot? That's right. Oh, okay. Not during game setup. Okay, so I have to put it beside. That's right. Okay. So I'll put some here. And I'll put one here. Cool. And for better or worse, that's my setup. All right. And this is an outdoor map. Yes. Um, for those uh, wondering at home. So that makes uh, a difference. So we're going to put our peeps here. We've got uh, Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn hanging out, being best buds. We've They've got BFF. It's on their, their traits. They've got BFF, GFF. Does it really say that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Best friends forever, girl. I don't know what GFFS stands for. I probably should look that up. Um, all right, and there we go. Now I'm going to generate some water terrain mm -hmm. for my good friend, uh, King Shark. One, two. There. Put some over in my territory. I am, and we'll put one there okay. for my dolphiny King Shark. All right. Well. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. And I'll give you a cheers. Cheers with some Aperol Spritz. And uh, I guess I start this game off, right? We do. Rob, before you begin the game, yep. I have to do something that happens at the beginning of the game. Okay. And that is my friend and your friend, Lincoln March, needs to choose a target. Oh, okay. So he's going to select Goon. Right. Because Goon is 15 points. Which will be this guy, the yep. Goon. Mm -hmm. 
So he is my target, and okay. if he is KO'd by Lincoln March, because he's mm -hmm. my only assassin, I will get an additional 25 victory points. Okay. Um, also, I should let you know, the Riddler's got this thing. Um, so he has a trait. Adjacent friendly characters have safeguard opposing probability control. So you can't prob okay. my people that are adjacent to Riddler. Okay. Because I wasn't the first player, opposing characters within Riddler's range which is five, mm -hmm. have safeguard friendly probability control. Okay. So you can't prob your own people if they're within the range of, of Riddler. Which is, how, what's the range again? He's, his range, sorry, his range is four. Four, okay. Yeah. Very good. And at the beginning of the game, I have to choose um, something for the JLA team ability. Mm -hmm. The JLA team ability says, for all friendly characters with this team ability, at the beginning of the game, choose a team ability. This character modifies attack plus one when attacking one or more characters with the chosen team ability printed on the base. I have a guess of what you're going to choose. It will be Batman Enemy. That is an excellent choice. Yep. Because almost my entire team is Batman Enemy. Yep, and I have a couple team players who right. will eventually take the JLA, but for this turn one, both Brainiac and Black Manta are selecting uh, the Batman team ability. Okay, to give them stealth. To give them stealth. Oh, now I see why you put Henry on the map. Yep. So uh, I'm going to start by um, Green Arrow has flight, and he will carry his friend Brainiac. Okay. And we are going to come over to here. He's going to come to here, putting Brainiac here. All right. And the goon has uh, Underworld team ability. Passenger one, but only to carry a character that shares a keyword. He shares Gotham City with Batman. Nice. So he will carry Batman to here. And um, Black Manta has a move of seven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Black Manta will come to here. Okay. And the Gorilla Warrior is going to come to here. I'm just going to ask a question, Rob. Yeah. Did you want to put Black Manta in the water? No, because his his thing goes off. Um, it says a black man occupies or is adjacent to water terrain. I get to roll a d6. Right. If he occupies or is adjacent to. That's right. Yeah. But if he occupies it, I can't target him unless I'm within four. Right. And right now he has stealth. Okay. Yep. So he's fine right there. Okay. Just want to make sure. Yep. And that's my opening turn. Okay. So over to you. Oh, oh and there's one more thing. Black mana has perplex. Yep. And he will perplex up somebody's defense <laughs> right past turn. Oh, and you need to roll your d6, right? Um, do I need to roll d6? For Black Manta? Right, so I can roll the d6 for Black Manta. However, it's not going to do anything. So this is a free ability. So I got a 4, which means his attack is plus 1 until the next turn. Okay. But I'm not attacking. So, But he does have perplex. And he's within a five of Green Arrow, so he'll perplex up Green Arrow's defense. Although I don't think he's going to uh, be attacked this turn, so. Challenge accepted. Okay. Um, so that is my turn. I pass to you. All right. So first things first, I need to choose a, a team, car team player team ability with Harley Quinn. And this turn, she's going to choose Gotham City, or not Gotham City Underworld. She's going to choose Underworld team ability okay. from Lincoln March. All right. So that she can carry her friend. So she is going to carry her friend Poison Ivy. So we are going to go, we can go nine, but we're just going to go to, uh, actually, you know what? We're going to start with the polar bear. Polar bear is going to move to here. Okay. Okay. Lincoln March has the uh, Underworld team ability, so he can carry Riddler. He can move a total of six. He's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six to here. And he's going to place the Riddler here. And that is the direct line to Brainiac, right? Uh, no. No, it's not? Well... I can see Brainiac is You the can question. see Brainiac, yeah. Okay. The direct line would get you to here. Right. 
but you can get you can see Brainiac. But Brainiac now. has stealth, right? He has stealth right now. So I can't see him. That's right. Okay. So we're just gonna pretend I didn't ask that question. <laughs> uh, King Shark can move ten. He's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to here. And then Harley, as we mentioned before, is gonna pick up her friend Poison Ivy. She's gonna move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. She has leap climb. Wow. To All here. Right. She's bringing poison ivy to here. Okay. And then for free, poison ivy will create a thorn vine bystander. Okay. Right there. And that are all of my actions. All right, then. Turn to me. Turn to you. Okay. I'm going to roll leadership on uh, Brainiac. I probably forgot something, but that's okay. Um, so... I only got a three. Well, that's too bad. So it does not work. Well, that's a pretty bold move, Jocelyn. Well, you know me. Go big or go home. <laughs> I guess so, right? Live free, die young. I guess so. Okay. So, first of all, I think you uh, underestimated something here. I underestimated nothing. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so, first of all, um, my goon has poison. I underestimated that. Yeah. Yep. So I will poison your vine. Oops. That was not what I wanted to do. Yeah. I wish I had uh, paid attention to that. <laughs> I bet you did. Um, now, um, let's see. Um, Black Manta has perplex. Okay. And he will perplex um, Poison Ivy's defense. Okay. Down to a 17. Sure. Okay. And uh, Batman can shoot at two targets. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna do that. We're gonna target both Poison Ivy. Yep. And Harley Quinn. And Batman's trait says, when Batman attacks, opposing characters that have the team ability chosen for JLA can't use Shape Change or Super Senses, and that would apply to both of them. Okay. So, you have Shape Change on Poison Ivy, but you cannot use it. Correct. So, Batman is a has a range combat expert. Yep. So, he will be 11 for 4. See, he wasn't supposed to be able to make a ranged attack, Rob, because there was a Thorn Vine bystander That's, in the way. I know. I know, I'm foiling your plans. 11 for 4. Yep. And that'll hit. I rolled a seven. Yep. So that hits them both. It does. And you know what? I have to put the four points into Poison Ivy. I have to get rid of Ivy, I think. Okay. Because those vines are going to be the death One, of me. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. She's still up. Yes, yeah, she is. Okay. Um, then... What I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to, um, I'm going to do a running shot with Green Arrow. All right. Green Arrow uh, has a eight move, so he's going to running shot for four, and he will go. Actually, is he going to do that? I think what what we'll do first is Black Manta should roll for his ability. He should roll for his ability. You're absolutely correct. Thanks for the reminder. Um, for free. I got a four. So my attack is plus one. Okay. And also, Black Manta is not going to take... He's going to keep his Batman um, team ability, so he remains in stealth. Yep. And so his attack is now an 11. It's going to be 11 for 3. And we will target... Um, what we're going to do... He has that special... Attack power, energy explosion, precision strike. Okay. So he is an 11 attack... Okay. ...against Harley and Ivy. Okay. Ener he's energy explosion. He's going to target... Sorry, Ivy. He's targeting Ivy, who would be a 15. Yeah. Because she was perplexed down. So 11 on 15. Yep. Okay, I rolled a five. That will hit. So that's energy explosion. Yep. So now does that KO'd. does that get around your 
super senses. No, I still get to super sense. Because he's got precision strike. So I need a six. And she becomes a target, right? Yeah, but that's shape change. It gets oh, around. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I failed. Okay. So that is super sad. Um, I should have placed differently. So I take two because I had a whole lot of plans for that poison ivy. Mm -hmm. And let's see now. Um, I have two more actions. And Green Arrow is going to uh, running shot, and he's going to carry Brainiac. Okay. So one, two, three, four to here. Okay. Three, four, up to Harley. Okay, you got a range of five? Um, I have a range of seven. Okay. And he's going to put Brainiac here. All right. So, I have range combat expert. Okay. It will be um, 13 attack on your 18. Okay. That's doubles. Super senses. Uh, I do have precision strike traded. So, I still need a 6. That's a 5. Okay. So, that will be 3 damage. Very well done. Oh, I get to use blades, right? Yeah, do you want to roll the blades? I will roll the blades. Let me, let me turn her back. Yep. One, so two. I will three. roll the blades. Okay. Because he gets to use blades at ranged. One, one, one. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So that's just one then. Yep. Dang. Well, no, okay. the minimum is printed minus one. So what's your printed? Printed is two. Printed is, oh, so then it's yeah, one. Yeah, it's one. But right. It's range it, combat expert. Yeah. But it's still just one. Printed, right? yep. And then. Um, he will... What does she have now? She has charge? Yeah, charge, steel energy, combat reflexes, and close combat expert. Okay, Brainiac will um, sidestep to here. Okay. And uh, Brainiac maintains his um, Batman team ability. And let's see. Uh, for the last action, Gorilla City Warrior is going to shoot Harley. Okay. Um, range attack from two range. All right. Um, it will be 10 for two on your 18. Yep. That's only a seven. That's too bad. Um, he will prob it. Okay. As he can see. And he's without a, out of range of Riddler. That's correct. Yeah. Um, R oh wait, range one, four. two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah. Gorilla Warrior is uh, five away. That's still a seven. Yep. So that does not work. Okay. Well, that's too bad. So Goon clears. Okay. His token. Um. So he got a token, 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 and token. And that is uh. That's my turn. I pass it over to you. Well, Rob. That was a really good turn for you. It worked out. Let's see if I can do something just as good. Okay. I still have um, leadership because Lincoln March has it traded. Mm -hmm. He doesn't need to roll it because there's nobody adjacent. We're going to start with a move from Riddler who has Leap Climb and a move of six. He's going to go one, two, three, four. He's going to stop right here Okay. in this water terrain. Okay. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Second action... Harley, no, hang on, first, um, Riddler is going to outwit, uh, we're going to outwit um, Toughness okay. on Black Manta, Okay. and then Harley's going to charge to here, uh -huh. no, we're <laughs> going to outwit Invulnerability on that guy. Okay, on the Gorilla? Yep, on the Gorilla. Okay. Harley's charging to here on the Gorilla. Okay. So she is an 11 with steel energy. She's a 12 because she's got close combat expert. Yep, against a 17 on the Gorilla Warrior. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. 12. I need a 5. Oh, no. Do you not? Do you have prob, I hope? No, I don't have prob. Okay, well, I can't prob you because your no. <laughs> safeguard is blocking it. Yeah. Okay, well, that's a thing. Oh. All right. It's awful. Now, Harley has another thing. It says, free. 
Make an attack targeting an opposing character that attacked Harley Quinn or another friendly character with the Gotham City Underworld since your last turn. Yep. Black Manta attacked me. Yes. And it, well, attacked Poison Ivy anyway. When Harley Quinn attacks a character that damaged a friendly character named Poison Ivy since your last turn, modify her attack and damage plus one. The gorilla also attacked. Okay. So it's up to you if you want to. Um, I think that we will we will attack the gorilla. Okay, the gorilla. Okay. Because you've already outwitted her. Yeah. So I'm an eleven mm -hmm. for four. No, I'm going to go on Black Manta. Okay. 11 for 4. 11 for um, 4. 12 for 4 because of... Uh, 12 for 5 because of the Poison Ivy thing. Cause okay. Because I, I have Close Combat Expert. Yeah. Plus I get the plus 1. It plus modifies one. damage too. Yeah, attack awesome. and damage. Okay. So 12 for 5. Yep, on Manta. On Manta. Manta is a what? 17. That's a 4. Yikes. That misses. Well, that was free. But it was a great plan, Rob. It was a great plan. Your dice let you down. It was a fantastic plan. Okay. We're going to bring in the polar bear. Mm -hmm. um, he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. To here. Um, yeah. He's okay. doing that. He has toughness. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and for my last action this turn, hoping that the dice have warmed up, we are going to hypersonic with King Shark. Okay. Because King Shark has... Hypersonic speed, if he occupies water terrain, when he uses it, he may use Flurry as free instead of making an attack. Mm -hmm. So he's going to hypersonic. He's got a move of 10. He's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So Brainiac can't see me. Oh, you would be within... You're within 4 of Riddler anyway, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. We'll go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Twelve exploit flurrying. On, okay. On your green arrow. All right, on green arrow. Yep. Oh my gosh. Twelve on. Uh, eighteen. It is an eighteen. Need a six. First attack hits for four exploit. Um. Okay. So Brainiac, I can't. You can't prob. Because Riddler says within four. Oh no! Wait, Riddler's only adjacent character, so yes, you can prob that. Oh, okay. So you can't prob your people. Right. But you can prob me because I'm not adjacent to Riddler. I will prob that. Okay. First Worth attack. Shot. 12 plus 5 is 17. That does not do it. Okay. Second attack. This is an 18. Printed 18. Flurry. Second attack. That one will hit. That got him. For 4 exploit. 4 exploit on green arrow. Good job. Okay. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Unfortunately, the first attack was probed out of. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to roll to break away. Mm -hmm. And I failed, so I stick... Oh, wait. Yes, it's a one. Mm -hmm. He has plasticity, so... Oh, no, wait, he doesn't. I'm confusing my people. All right, Lincoln March is going to clear, and I'm going to pass turn to you. Okay, sounds good. Um, I'm going to roll um, leadership. Okay. On Brainiac, because it's traded. Mm -hmm. And I got a six. Nice. Okay. So, when he uses it, friendly characters within range that share a keyword with him are considered adjacent. So, I think um, it's Black Manta, right? Manta is, yep, within range. So, I'll take a token off Manta. That's unfortunate. For me. It is. Oh, and I get, uh, because you damaged Green Arrow, mm -hmm. his uh, he now has willpower. Did not get it. Well, that's too bad. And I think that's it for my my initial rolls. All right, so I think I think Manta's going to attack first. Sure. Um, I'm going to roll because he's adjacent to water. Yep. So I'm going to use his free ability. Um, yeah. Oh, I got a five. So he increases his damage. All right. Um, he is also going to select the JLA team ability. Okay. Which means he gets a plus one on his attack when attacking Batman enemy. Okay. So, um, and he will also, he has perplex. Okay. He will perplex up his attack. So he will be a 12 attack 
for four damage. Okay. And he is going to target both Riddler and Harley Quinn. Okay. So Harley is combat reflexes right now. So mm -hmm. she's a 19. Okay. And uh, Riddler is a 17, I believe. Okay. And I'm a 12 attack. Yeah. Okay. That is horrible. That is a three. That I, is a three. I should have tried to move Brainiac to get... No, because he's... I can't use prob anyway. That's right. That would not have worked. Well, I mean, on the plus side, it wasn't a crit miss. Yeah. That's I, I have to log my crit miss. You do. For our, our um, crit miss counter. Batman is going to attack. He also has JLA, but does this have the Batman enemy? It does. It does, does yep. Okay. So Batman is an 11. Okay. Against your 17. All right. It's attacking the polar bear. All right. Needs a six. <laughs> That's also a three. That's also a three. Okay. Um, the goon. Oh, he was picking up in power off the goon, too. That would have been good. It would have been. Um, the goon is going to be a 10 against your 17. Okay. That is a 17. All right. That's two points of damage. So he will take one because he has toughness. And... Oh, did he already take damage? I don't think so. Did you start him on the wrong I click? I must have started him on the wrong click. Yeah, I don't think he yep. took damage. Sorry. Okay, he took one. Okay. Yep. And uh, now King Shark has plasticity. This is correct. It is part of his special move power. So I need, um, if I'm going to break away, I need to use a, I need to get a six. That's correct. Okay. So um, Brainiac will attempt to break away. Okay. That's a four. Um, I guess then Green Arrow mm -hmm. will perplex down King Shark's defense to 18. Okay. And uh, Brainiac will try to make a close stack. Was that a breakaway sidestep you were trying? Sorry, yes. That's yeah. my sidestep. Just, just to be clear yeah. for mm -hmm. the... Yeah. Yep. So 11 on 18 Okay. from uh, Brainiac. That's a 9. Okay. So that'll, that'll hit. It. Um, that's uh, 3. I am invulnerable. And you're invulnerable. So I take one. Mm -hmm. Click. And uh, Green Arrow has a sidestep, and he has flight. He's going to try break away carrying Brainiac. Yep. I only got a two. Would you like to prob that? Um, I guess I could prob that. Yep, because Green, uh, green Arrow is outside of Riddler's range. Right, he's five away. Yeah. Nope, still got a two. It's worth a try. So, yep. So uh, he clears. Yep. Gorilla Warrior can clear his tokens. And that is my turn. Um, did Goon? Yeah, Goon attacked, Goon right? Goon attacked, so okay. I put a token on him. Yep. Okay, so once again, my leadership means absolutely nothing. However, you attacked some of my people that have the Gotham City Underworld team mm -hmm. uh, keyword. So that means Harley's going to get to make a retaliation. Okay. Okay. First things first, Mr. the Riddler has willpower. Okay. And he hey, succeeded. Yep. So he gets to remove a token. Why did I move myself all the way across the map here? <laughs> I can't reach. Okay. All right. So that's done. So I'm only going to be able to do two things this turn because my people are double tokened. So well, first... You got a free from Harley though, right? Yeah. You could do a free attack. Mm -hmm. Riddler is going to outwit Toughness on Black Mant. Okay. Okay. Then, from there, um, we're going to start with Harley. Harley's going to make a free attack on Black Manta because of her trait. Yep. Uh, Black Manta attacked Harley Quinn last turn. Yep. So, she gets to do that. So, she gets close combat expert, so she'll be an 11 for 4 on Black Manta's 17. Mm -hmm. Need a six. That's a four. Uh-oh. Well, that was free. We can't complain about a free. Riddler will attack Black Manta. Costed attack. Riddler is a 10. Need a seven. That's a That's critical a hit. hit. How much damage is It'll that? It'll be three in total. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Riddler doesn't do a lot of damage. One. Two, three. Okay, last click. Wow. Unfortunately, oh, I'm out of actions. 
Well, and what about Lincoln March? He can move, but he can't attack. Mm. So he's going to move. He's going to go six. One, two, three, four, uh, five. It's not ideal. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. To there. Okay. Next to the Riddler. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of my people will clear, if you don't mind clearing King yep. Shark for me. And Harley. She just took a free. Okay. And then it will be your turn. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start with leadership from Brainiac. Nope. And I have willpower on the goon. And he got it. Nice. So he gets to. Oh, take Polar that Bear says that you off. can't use willpower. <laughs> oh, is that right? Yeah, it's special text. Special text on the Polar Bear? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> nice try. I love try. how you just continue. Yep. All right, I'm going to start my turn here with Green Arrow. All right. Who is going to. Um, use Perplex Okay. to Perplex King Shark yep. to an 18. Um, I got damage through on him, didn't I? You did. He took one click. Yeah. So I will be... Uh, I'm going to do a ranged attack adjacent. Okay. Um, so that I can, I can try to do some blades, right? Sure. So I would be... Uh, an 11 against your 18. Didn't you perplex me down? Yes, I did. So you're a 17. Yep. So, sorry, it's a 10. Right? 10 on 18. Sorry, 17. And I have him to prop. Okay. Hang on. Yep. You're, don't you have JLA? I do, but you're Suicide Squad. So what does that mean? Uh, I For my JLA, I picked Batman oh, Enemy. I understand. Yep. Okay. That's where we're at. So I don't get the plus one. Okay. So you are a 10 on a 17. 10 against your 17. Yes. Yep. So Green Arrow needs a 7. Yes. And this is a ranged attack adjacent because he can do that. Okay. Prob. Yes, you can prob him because he's out of Riddler's range. That's a 17. Okay. So I'm going to roll blades. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. It's a 5. Ouch. Well, I still have my inbalm. You do. So I reduce by 2. Yep. So I take 1... Two and three. And I have uh, steel energy. Okay, so you get to heal one. Mm -hmm. So I heal one. So now I have charge blades, super senses, and shape change. Oh, yes. Um, and then, oh, you have shape change. Yes, and super senses. Okay. So I'm going to put a token on Green Arrow. You should do that. He attacked. And then uh, Brainiac, um, he will try to attack. Shape change says valid target. Okay, so right now he is a printed 18 still. He is a printed 18, so he's a 17. So he's a 17. So Brainiac is an 11. Yep. Needs a 6. That is an 8. Okay, Super Senses says you can hit me. Okay, three points from Brainiac. Three points, okay. One, two, three. Excellent. Oh, you like that? Well, now I have Flurry. <laughs> now you have Flurry. Okay. So Brainiac, um, let's see. Green Arrow is going to attempt a breakaway sidestep. Okay. I no longer have plasticity, so. Oh, okay. I only got a two. Okay. It's not going to work. Brainiac will attempt the breakaway sidestep. Mm -hmm. Four. Yep. That does it, right? That does. Okay. So Brainiac will slip away for two. One. Let's put him here. And I'm guessing he can't. Um, he can't carry, right? He cannot carry uh, Green Arrow. That's yeah. correct. Okay. Um, so then, um, the gorilla is going to attack Riddler. Okay. He has close combat expert. All right. And super strength. So he will be eleven for three. On the Riddler. On Riddler's is 17. Yep. Needs a 6. That is a 7. Yep. So that'll be 3 points, and I'll knock him back off the elevation. Okay. So 1, 2, 3. And then when you knock him back, he would go here, and then mm -hmm. he, would take a he would take a damage from that, and he's KO'd. Nice. Okay. 
And uh, the goon is the only person left that can actually take an action. So he will swing on the bear. Okay. 10 on your 17. And that is an 8 for 2 points of damage. You have toughness. Um, I do. So the goon is going to be KO'd, and we get to see an expendable goon trait. Okay. So. The um, polar bear goon gets KO'd. Yes. Yep. He's an expendable goon. Batman clears Manta. We should finish clears. this. Yep. Um, so when polar bear is KO'd by an opposing character after resolutions, you may roll a d6. That's a three. On a one through three, generate an ice blocking terrain marker oh. in the square that polar bear last occupied. Okay. This game, that marker has adjacent characters must roll for breakaway if they don't already need to. Mm -hmm. So that is for all opposed all adjacent characters, including me. Okay. okay. And that stays for the rest of the game? Yep. Okay. Um, that, I believe, um, that's a turn. Okay. So I'll pass it over to you. All right. So... We are going to start with Harley Quinn. Okay. Harley Quinn still has her trait, which has not gone off yet. Or it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Gorilla City Warrior attacked a character with the Gotham C City Underworld last turn, yes. which was Riddler. So, she's going to attack him for free. Okay. So, she is, on this click, close combat expert. So, I believe she's an 11 for 3. She will be an 11 for 4. Oh, an 11 for 4. And she has steel energy as well. She does, yeah. Okay, so on the Gorilla City Warrior, I'm an 11 on your... 17. 17. That one finally hits. Got him. So, so that'll that be four damage. Four damage. You will KO him because With he's got Invuln. Yep. But you're doing two damage past that, and that KOs him. Excellent. Good job. Okay. Is he a goon? He is a goon, so I have to roll. You don't have to, but you can choose when to. When Gorilla Warrior is KO'd by an opposing character after resolutions, you may roll a d6. I got a three. Generate a hindering terrain marker in the square Gorilla City Warrior last occupied. Okay. Okay. I'll get a hindering terrain marker. Excellent. Harley is going to steal energy because she successfully hit. She is now going to make a close combat attack on Black Manta. She will now be a 12 for 4 because she's healed up to an 11 on her attack there. And Black Manta is a 17. So I need a 6. Okay. Costed attack, 11 on 17, 12 on 17, I need a 5, and that will hit. Dice are finally warmed up for 4 um, damage. Let's see. Now, I do have prob from him, but I'm wondering if I should save it. I think that you can't see me because of the blocking. Uh, Nope, because it's it's right on the... Oh, it is, okay. Yeah, 2 and 2. Yeah. I would be able to do it. So do you want to prob it? It's four damage on Black Manta. And I get to steal energy. Oh my gosh. Um, that m oh, But then you have Flurry over here. I do. And I only need a five. Okay. You only need a five. I need a five to hit Black Manta. Um, I will not prob. Okay. Looks like I'm going to lose Black Mana. All right. So you're going to take four. Yep. And he was on his last click. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Good job. Okay. Finally, Harley. Good job. Yeah. Now we're going to the shark. Okay. The shark has flurry blades. Mm -hmm. So we are going to attack, and he's a 10 on... Um, it's a 17 on green arrow. Okay. Attack number one says 11. Uh, prob. Okay. Attack number one says oh, 10. Oh, you got him. Okay. I'm going to roll the blades. Yep. Two. Two. Okay. Um, one, two. He's still a 17. Okay. <coughs> Rolling again. That's a five. Oh, wow. Does that miss? I got lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 10 on 17. Darn. Okay. Can we just drop yep, that on I can him do there? That. Okay. Now, Lincoln <coughs> March is going to. Um, Gosh, okay. So Goon has poison, right? It does. It's super annoying. Yep. Um, let's see. And I can't see you because of this marker if I wanted to make a ranged attack, can I? That's right. All right. I'm going to try and break away move. Yep. And that succeeds. It's a four. So I'm going to go to... I'm going to go to... Uh, one... 
one, two, three, four, five, six, right over here behind the camera. Sorry, Rob. That's okay. So we're going to go into this hindering terrain over here. Yep. Let me just move this. Thank you. Because he has stealth. Mm -hmm. So that is his move, and that's everything I can do this turn. Okay. So I'm going to pass back to you. Um, yep, that's it. Okay. Um, now I have leadership on him, but it's not going, going to do anything. So I'm going to roll willpower on green arrow. Okay. I got a four. Not enough. Willpower on the goon. Nope. Okay. Okay, so first things first, we are going to try a um, range attack. Yep. Adjacent, because he can do that. And yep. you have shape change. I do have shape change. So hopefully <laughs> I can get you. Shape change says, oh, you can get hey, me. Hey, I can well, get you. Yeah. So I'm Please going miss. to use... Uh, my perplex Kay. to put him to a 16 defense which, to a which 16. you 100% did before I should change. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, so 10 on your 16. Yep. Okay. Needs a six. Miss, miss, miss. Prob. prob. <laughs> miss, miss, miss. My miss, first miss, crit miss, miss and I'm probing it. Uh oh. There's a six. That's enough because you That's perplexed enough. me down. Yep. So I'm going to use uh, blades. Okay. One, 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 one. Three. But you have toughness. I think you got him. Did I? Yep. And then One, I... One, two. He's KO'd. Oh, nice. And yep. I get to steal energy with that? Yep. Okay. I was hoping to have KO'd him last turn, because then I could have regened f as free. Mm -hmm. But uh, unfortunately, you were able to get me. And I'm going to um, sidestep. Okay. And then this guy will sidestep. Okay. Even though I've used up the prob already. Yep. And then um, the goon yes. is going to shoot at Harley. Okay. Goon has a range of four, so he's good to go. And I am an 18. Yep. 10 on 18. Yep. It's only a five. Okay. So goon takes a token. Mm -hmm. Now Batman is stuck beside this barrier. Yep. But he has sidestep. Okay. So he will attempt a sidestep breakaway. Okay. Four. You got it. Okay. So he will sidestep, sidestep. Okay. And he is going to attack. It's just a straight 17. Lincoln March. Oh, hang on. Let me just double check. There's something on his damage dial. And he has. I have Outwit and I haven't been using it. Oh my gosh. From Lincoln March? Yep. Oh, dang. Oh, well. Um, so Batman's a printed 10, but he has the JLA team yep. ability. And Lincoln March is Batman enemy. Yep. So it's going to be 11 against your 17. Yep, you need a 6. And I'm picking up a power off Goon. Okay. Needs a 6. That's only a 5. Well, that's too bad. All my my rolls are a little low there. Okay. So, um, Brainiac is going to clear. Yep. And it will be your turn. Okay, can I ask you a question? Sure. Does there is there a reducer on uh, Mr. Batman? There is toughness. Okay. And is it part of like a special or is it just printed nope. toughness? It's just printed toughness. Okay. I will outwit your toughness and I will poison you. Oh, nicely done. Okay. Now that I remembered, I have outwit. Yeah. Poisoned. Okay. All right. For free, Harley Quinn gets to make an attack on a character that attacked somebody with the Gotham City Underworld keyword. Mm-hmm. Um, and she has to do her charge first. So I guess we're going to, uh, since the toughness is outwitted... Can I get there? One, two, three. Yep. Okay. Um, actually, one, two, three to there. Okay. Okay. Charging to here. Yep. On Batman. This is a just a charge. It's uh, close combat. Yep. So 12 for four. 12 on 17. I need a five. Unfortunately, you can see me. Yeah. That will hit. I'm I presuming you'll prop. I will prop that. Okay. That's a five. That'll hit. Four damage. Um, and your toughness is outwitted. Right. I think you got Batman. One, two, three. He's KO'd. Good oh, job. Oh, then I should have gone next to the goon because Good job. now I can't use my free attack. Now, you stole energy, right? Yeah, I steal energy yep. as part of that. 
But now I can't use my free attack because I don't have a ranged attack and I've already moved. Okay. So that's too bad. Uh, Lincoln March will clear. Mm -hmm. And I will pass turn to you. Okay, I'm going to roll uh, willpower on Green Arrow. I was worried about that poison. I got the willpower. Okay. But I don't know if it's going to do me any good. Um, actually, it might. And then I have willpower on Goon. He did not get it. Okay. So, um, he will sidestep to here. Okay. And I do have a line on Harley Quinn. Sure. So, sidestep, and he will perplex her down. All right, to a 17. To a 17. Yep. And, uh... She has super senses. Yep, he will attack, um... He gets, uh... Um, yeah. Let me just check something on the card here. So here's here's the roll. Um, so he would be an 11. Cause right. Because of the JLA team ability on Harley Quinn. Yep, and Harley, you perplexed her down, so she's a 17. Okay. Need a 6. Oh, uh, that's only a 3. You can prob it. I can prob it. You have prob right there. Crit. And oh I can't gosh. super sense a crit. Um, let's see. How much is it? Well, I get the blades. Okay. So let's see what happens. Oh, you yeah. Have, you have the blades? I do. Um, four. Plus one is plus five. Plus one. One, two, three, four, five. She's KO'd. And I should have been generating grave markers all this time, which I have not been doing. How dare you? With my special attack power. Yeah. Um, oh, steel energy, right? Yeah. So I have not been doing that, unfortunately. So. It's okay. Things happen. Yeah. It's a lot of stuff to remember. It's not like you played a whole bunch of green arrow chases in Memphis. <laughs> I know, right? Um, let's see. We're going to... Should you have done a grave terrain marker there? Yeah, I probably should, right? Because it says... When Green Arrow hits a single opposing character who is not occupying a f any friendly Grave Marker, you may give that character an action token and generate a Grave Hindering Terrain Marker in their square. But I KO'd it. Yeah. So, you know what? I'm going to... Not I'm worry gonna about bypass it. that. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to sidestep him to here. Okay. And I can't... You're in stealth. I am. Okay. And uh, he clears. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's my turn. Okay, Lincoln March against the world, Rob. It is. Okay, so what's got the goon going on here? Goon has just willpower. That's no nothing fancy. Right. All right. So Lincoln March is going to range attack. Mm -hmm. Eleven on the goon seventeen. Okay. Need a six. That's a seven. Yep. Would you like to prob it? Uh, sure. Why not? Okay. Or wait, can I? Yeah, I can. You can yeah, when, yeah. when it's not my turn. That's right. Yeah. Need a six. That's a five. Okay. Okay. Turn to you. Um. Did I outwit yet? No. No. Go ahead. I should have outwitted your prob. <laughs> let's say you did. Well, then I then I hit you. Yeah. Let's say you did. Are we backing that up? Yeah. Okay. Back that up. I mean, you should have. Outwitted I before. Outwit prob. Yeah, absolutely. And then I hit you for two. Yeah, you would have KO'd him then. Yep. Okay. So I get an extra 25 points for that. Goon is gone. Yes. Because my assassin actually KO'd it. Now you get to do your goon thing. Oh, yeah. So, expendable goon. We roll the die. It is a four. Generate a character with an expendable goon trait on his 50 point starting line adjacent to any friendly character. 15. Oh, sorry. What did I say? 50. 50. <laughs> 15. 15. <laughs> So I will put the Cordian Thunderer. Yep. I'll bring him out. And where am I going to put him? Let's see. He's got Pulse Wave. That's kind of Yeah, he does. Interesting. So he has to go where? Um, adjacent to a friendly character. Okay. So why don't I put him like here? Sure. Does he want a Pulse Wave right now? Or sh I'll put him... Actually, I'll put him here. Okay. So. Okay. 
All right, so I guess it's over to me, right? That's and right. I'm going to roll willpower on Green Arrow. Nope. But I do get to sidestep him. Sure. Um, or I could just... Pulse Wave, Lincoln March. How many clicks is Lincoln March? Three. Three clicks? Yep. He's no on way. his low point dial. Wow. But he's in stealth, remember? Yeah. Okay. So the only way, only way you can get him with Cordy and Thunder is to Pulse Wave. Okay. And I can't see him for perplexing, so I'm going to perplex Cordy and Thunder to an 11. Okay. From uh, Green Arrow. Is he going to Pulse Wave? Um, no. I okay. think we're just going to... We're going to go like this, sidestep to here. Okay. And Brainiac is going to swing on him. Sorry, who did you perplex? I perplexed Quarty and Thunderer to an 11. Okay. Yep. So they're both an 11 attack. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So uh, 11 on your 17. Yep, you need a 6. That's for 3 damage. Okay, that KOs him. Did it? Okay. Yeah, he has no reducers. One, two, three. You okay. got it. Okay. Wow. That's the game. Well, good game. Thanks for playing. Good game, Rob. I really appreciate that. All right. It was a fun game. Yeah. Um, I think we both learned some stuff. I think so. Like, I should look at uh, characters' poison dials before I place you know Thorn, Thor and Vine bystanders next to them. I got caught by so much poison when I played the Battle Royals Yeah. in Memphis. So, yeah, that's it's a thing. And, I just don't uh, expect it. Yeah, I, d I wasn't thinking about it. And I probably should have placed maybe differently so that you couldn't have probed me even after Riddler was gone. Right. Um, because King Shark... He did, he did okay, but yeah. he, he could have done better. He's so. he's a scary figure. Yeah. He really is. Yeah. Yeah. So, but uh, but yeah, so overall, you uh, you wiped my team, and I took whatever I took, plus 25 points. Yeah. I mean, you got everyone, well, you got a lot of people. You didn't get Brainiac, you didn't get this guy. Yeah, so that's what, 130 points? Um. <clears throat> Brainiac was on his low dial. Let's see. Batman was 40. Yeah. Manta was 45. That's 90. That's, that's, that's 85. 85 points. Um, Gorilla Warrior was 15. So that's 100. 100. Goon was 15. 115. 115. And Goon was another 25 because Lincoln March KO'd him. That's right. So 140. 140. So you took 140. Okay. Not bad. Because I had Green Arrow and Brainiac on top dials. You almost had Green Arrow. I know. So close. It was super close. Yeah. Good game. Yeah. Thanks was, for playing. Yeah, thank you. So let us know what you thought of this game and what you would have done, like looking at poison dials. And, uh, you know, we'd love to hear from you about all your thoughts. So you can uh, reach out to us in all of the usual places. All the mm -hmm. links are in the show notes that are displayed here. So they're in the, the, com the commentary yep. below. And you can also send us an email. We like emails. Yep. Send us an email. Uh, you can find us on our uh, Twitter slash X accounts. Um, Probably uh, better to find us on Instagram. <laughs> threads, Instagram, yeah, anything like that. And Facebook, of course. Yep. Yep. So, uh, and leave a comment and like and subscribe if you haven't done we so already. We would greatly appreciate that. And we will be back with game number two before you know it. Yep. Thanks for watching, everybody. And we will see you all next time for sealed game number two. Bye for now. Bye.